This is a Scythia rant. It is uncensored, not for children, and, and does not affect any of the affiliates, TV shows, video games, whatever I'm talking about. It means nothing to them. It has no effect. Plus, it is my complete and probably biased as hell opinion. No audio, video, clips from any show, game, movie, etc. were used in the making of this video. So have fun with it. I know, I know, shocking. I'm probably the last person that you would expect to talk about this topic, and I'm probably the last person that you would expect with this opinion. Seeing as though if you watch all my videos from two years ago, all but one has you, all but just the recent countdown, use, use any kind of copyrighted material. So, why would I want to speak about the recent content I D Armageddon? Well, let's call a spade a spade here, folks. This is not good for anybody. This is not good for you, it's not good for me, it's not good for the countless YouTube gaming channels that actually make a living off of doing this. You want to know how much money I've made in total monetizing so far that I haven't even cashed in? 51 cents. Now, why not? Why do you do this for a living? Why does your Code Equestria compadres do this for a living? We do it for the fun of it. We don't do it for the cash. But for the many people that do do it for the cash, especially especially if your names are Total Biscuit, Angry Joe, Classic Gamer, who are just recently bailed because of all this, then yes, this is a major concern. And it is also a concern because my editor pony, my cohort in this cavalcade of the pulpery that is Code Equestria slash Arbiter, also does Let's Plays. A lot. So, you can understand my concern now that every Let's Play and its mama is up to the YouTube, Google Plus audio bot to decide to decide whether whether it's good or not. And quite frankly, this brings up the subject of creativity in video. Now, I'm not one for flash, for gimmicks, for sound effects and pretty stuff. That's not what I do here. You want to know why I don't? It's not because I fear the monster. It's because, quite frankly, I don't care about the video looking the best or the flashiest or having cool bumpers or effects. I care more about getting the point of each video across. And if that means I'm talking straight to the camera like this for 95% of the videos, then that's how I prefer it. However, I would like to do flashier videos. I would like to put in the production values and the care and whatnot into making high class really good looking product, but it seems that this website that we all love doesn't want that and wants more of this. 
they're saving like putting the U part of it back into YouTube. Only one problem though. If it is really about us, then it should really be about freedom of speech and creativity to things that Google and all the people holding all the cards here want to seem to violate and rape in front of us all on any given moment. Now, I'm not going to be like every other YouTuber and get extremely angry about it. In fact, I'm going to be like Woody Page from Round the Horn and be solutions oriented. How exactly? Well, there are three solutions to this problem. And no, one is not bitching to Google about it. They don't care if you bitch. It's their system. They can really give a rat's ass if you fill their mailbox with endless amounts of complaints or whatnot. They don't really care. Neither, neither do the video game developers and publishers that think their advertising dollars are going out, out the window every time somebody puts up a Let's Play. They don't really care about it. There's three very simple and somewhat heartbreaking solutions to this problem. We can, one, adapt, which is what they want us to do, which is completely and utterly stupid, even for a guy like me that doesn't doesn't do the flashy, overly copy, copyright right written videos on this channel, and even so, I try to even tell my teammates to keep things at a minimum in terms of that when it comes to uploading videos here. Here, I still would like the option of doing something fun for you guys and something outside the box. Even the top 26 Friendship is Magic episodes is one of those many examples of me being outside the box with the issue. Issue and really trying to go out and create something entertaining for you guys. But, seeing that that's soon going to be out the window, well, what else is there to do? Well, there's solution two. We can stop monetizing. And I'm not saying just the big guys. I'm saying everybody. Cut it out. Disable it. Don't do it. Don't even give them the satisfaction faction of putting the ads in the videos. Don't even do it. Slice it. And if your videos get flagged and your channel ultimately gets ripped, you're not losing anything by it. See, Google Plus ultimately wants you to uber care about your channel. Well, don't. Cut the monetization out. Make the ad money dry up. And yes, even repost it on other websites that you own or have more free laws when it comes to this and make the money that way. But don't use YouTube as a primary source. Which can be iffy for some people. So, it's down to Solution 3, and the ultimate point of this video. It's time to migrate. That's right. For the majority of the channels that are having this problem, the only solution that I can give you that would even make logical sense, it's time to bail. Google doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about the creativity of its many user base. 
it wants people that will fit into its nice, keep it simple, keep it dry, stupid motif. And me being one of them. But I'm also insulted that it's gotten down to the point where videos like mine are going to become the norm. I don't feel like I'm winning a battle here. In fact, I'm feeling rather insulted and feeling feeling that for me of winning winning the battle of plain Jane boring and ultimately winning out. I feel insulted for the many, many creators that actually put their effort in time. Guys that I've subscribed to. Review Tech USA. You know, Tommy Oliver. Guys like that. And if you think gaming is where where this crap is gonna, gonna end, <laughs> you better, you better get, you better get, you better savor the moments, YouTube fandom of the many prony announcers and their great level of content in their videos. You better savor the moment, guys like Voice of Reason, did prony. You better savor all of it. Because I guarantee you, in two months or so, it's going to be gone. And guys like that are going to be victims of the Autobot of creative destruction as well. Yes, indeed. It's about to get freaking ugly up, up in this piece. And I don't really like it. Sure, when we put up that Borderlands video for the Rainbow Factory Rejects, it was really going to be the start of something that we were going to do semi-consistently. I still want to do it, but now I know that YouTube's not going to provide the platform to do so, which kind of takes a bullet out of my chamber in terms of your entertainment or your information value. Sure, does it affect me and this channel? Not, not really. Still about 95% of the videos coming from this channel are going to be as you see here. After all, I'm still trying to keep the motif that I said in my first video first video back on June 11, 2008. It's not about what you see, it's about the information about what you hear. And speaking of information, information, here's how it pretty much goes, and thanks to Review Tech USA for the actual information. Big name channels, such as Total Biscuits, such as Machinima, or Pick up these guys as part of multi-channel networks. These multi-channel networks would usually handle the copyright claims, claims of anything having to pertain to gaming material. Audio, video, cutscenes, things like that. Now it seems that the, that the content ID Autobot but doesn't it know it these these multi-channel networks and leaves and leaves these individual channels in the lurch for their own claims. And here's the big kicker. It's retroactive. Meaning every every video every video that the channel has put up is subject to the Autobot flag. This cre creates a lot of trouble, and it often, and it will, and does, often result in copyright strikes. Now, you can see how this would cause normally complicit guys like Angry Joe to want to go 
shoot somebody. And trust me, the only reason why I've brought up his name four times is because I really like the guy. I really think he's smart, educated, very funny, and also very informative. I can re really give a darn whether his videos are creative, but they are. It's one of, one of the reasons why he's one of the bigger names on YouTube, and I gotta thank... I gotta thank my partner, Angry SSJ Dragon, for bringing me to him for a subscribe. I, for one... I, for one, cannot articulate everything, everything that I feel wrong about this problem. It's really hard for me to do. On one hand, on one hand, I can understand stand protecting your ad revenue and protecting yourself from being sued, but at the price of literally turning your website into into a creative desert, causing boycotts and guys leaving and massive untrust and unrest. Now, when somebody uploads a video, especially gaming affiliated, they're going to be scared to death. A website in a community such as YouTube should not be a place place of fear or intimidation or concern about everything uploaded. It should be a place that allows creativity, that allows people with opinions like mine, no matter how they want to present it, to present that opinion. That is the very nature of freedom of speech. That's why we have it. And that's why things like Xbox Live and ultimately the very website this video is being posted to exist. To give people an outlet. Whether they're making money or not. Which in my case, it's not. I... I enjoy the freedom of having the outlet. And if this continues, let's be honest, the outlet will be dead. Now, what does this mean for the future of this channel? Not a god darn thing. You know why? Because I'm sticking to my motif that I did so many videos ago. In fact, this video will mark the 155th upload load from me in this channel. And 155 videos ago, I told you straight up what it was going to be about. It wasn't going to be about what you see, it was going to be about what you hear. So, you don't have to worry about me violating content ID because it's never going to happen because I don't see the point of taking the risk risk to get no reward and also I don't see the point why we just can't keep it simple but for those who can't they should be given the right to do what they desire. This is a dark day. Not only because I'm reacting. Acting to something community wide. Which is something I don't normally do. But. I will be kind of against my Nirvana spark on nature. And be pessimistic. I see this as the beginning of the end for this website. It's only just beginning, people. And the sad part of it is... The sad part of it is... Is for, is for those that love this fight. Like myself. I don't want to see it go down. Down this road of proverbial hell. So... 
So, what should we, the non-content creating users, do? I'll tell you. Maybe we're you guys. The best way to get the message across is the boycott. Yes, I know, I've used the word boycott before in rants, and trust me, my Esquire network boycott slash G4 boycott still stands to this day. I am a man of my word when it, when it comes to using the term. But, if you really want to show how much you care, then for creators, don't. Don't monetize. Don't change what you're doing. And continue doing what you're doing, despite this. And for those that are not content creators, it's time, it's time to take our balls. And most importantly, our eyeballs, our money, and perhaps teach them a thing or two, two about how to do things. Let's be like the white Nelson Mandela, silent yet strong. Let's continue to do what we do, but do it in a peaceful and, if things don't change, well, well, you know what it's going to end up to. Yes, am I angry about integrating Google Plus? No, I can see why. That's okay. But, this, this right here, it's unacceptable. Even for a guy like myself that keeps it relatively cl clean cut, this doesn't feel like a victory. This doesn't feel like the indication of what I said was right. No, this feels like a big loss, like a death in the family. So whatever you choose to do, whether you embed this video, share it to others, use it on Facebook, and by the way, you have my permission, at will, to use this video as an example. But whatever we decide to do, let's show no fear. Let's show no intimidation. Because that's what they want us to do. They want us to be intimidated. They want us to bend. And they ultimately are trying to make us break. Let's not stand for it. But let's not get violent. Let's not get hostile. And let's talk about it. Like men and women. Let's do... What Google wants us to do to show our dislike in this issue. Let's drop the personas. Let's drop the gimmicks. And come with, and come as us. And not only show them, but tell them that creativity is more important and that no matter how you try to stop it it cannot be stopped imaginations deserve to run wild and I will end with a quote of my own to have inspiration no matter where 
where the place is, no matter how it is. Inspiration breeds life into things that would normally be mundane. Inspiration is what happens when imagination meets its apex. To be inspired is to be motivated. To be motivated is the first step towards changing the world. I hope Google, that in spite of your big-headedness, this time, you will listen, and you will not respond loudly, you will not respond with a boast, you will sit down, and you will listen, because if you don't, the ears that you are trying to gain attention to will ultimately leave. And that's not good for anyone. Not me. Not any of the creators affected. Not even the internet itself. Please. Publishers, developers, everybody involved in this issue. Let's band together. Let's talk about it. And instead of getting angry about it, let's try to find a solution. And this time, find peace in all, no matter what. On our rocks. Thanks for watching. Rate, like, favorite, and of course, because I'm still looking for it, subscribe.